to our deco in Premiere Pro, the first thing you'll have to do is generate some silence. And Premiere Pro doesn't have a dedicated tool for that, so we'll have to do a workaround. So copy your audio clip and paste the copy next to the original one. Then click on that copy and go to the effect controls and reduce audio level by maximum amount possible. So essentially this is, this audio has no volume and then choose, click, click the right mouse button and go and choose render and replace. Now we have generated some silence, but we want to combine these two clips into a single one. So we're going to select both of them and choose nest. So we have a one, a single audio clip with enough of, of silence and at the end of it. So this silence is going to be important when we are applying echo, because otherwise it would truncate your audio whenever and the clip ends. So select your clip again, and we're going to go to effects and we're going to look for delay effect. We're going to drag it onto the audio clip we have and it has three main parameters here. So the first one is delay. Delay determines how long it takes for echo to appear after the original audio. So in this case, it will take one second for echo to appear after the original audio. And I, I, I prefer it to be somewhere around half, half a second. It is going to differ the, the further away you are. So let's, you know, echo, usually you hear it in some kind of environment where your voice bounces back from, from an object. So the, the longer the delay, the further away the object is because it takes longer for the echo to come back to you. And with the feedback, feedback will determine how loud that echo is. So the lower the feedback, I'll choose 15%, maybe 15 to 20% somewhere, somewhat of a sweet spot. But uh, the lower the feedback, the, the lower the echo will be. And also this will imply a further distance because it, it loses volume over the distance. And with the mix, mix determines how much of the original audio you get, or, or rather how much of the echo you get compared to the original audio. So I'll, I'll just have it at 100% because we're reducing the echo volume by using lower setting in, in the feedback anyways. And this is it. This, this way will add quite a bit of echo to our audio recording. Let's play it. Hey, do you hey, think we can think add we some can echo add some to echo this? Echo. this? This, Right. And, and this could be enough, but and the other thing I would like to do is add a bit of reverb and we'll choose studio reverb and then we'll drag it onto our audio track and we're going to click edit next to custom setup and we'll choose vocal reverb small preset and this should be enough. This will give a bit more of the realistic echo. Hey, do you think we can add some echo to this? All right. And this is it. This is how you add echo to your audio recording within Premiere Pro.